welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and it is already time for November Shop My Stash. I can't believe it. Um, last month for Shop My Stash, I decided to, to pick my entire cream drawer. Instead of picking random products, I just decided to focus on the whole drawer of cream, blush, bronzers, and highlighters. I had so much fun doing it, and I, I honestly thought I was gonna get to use the entire drawer full of stuff, but I did not. Um, I did do a video on the stuff I'm deciding to declutter and then my favorites from that project. I put those videos up already. But this month I decided to do something similar again and focus on an entire drawer. Let me show you which one. I decided to do my... <laughs> I was going to say primers and powders at the same time. The primers and powders drawer. These are all of the primers and powders that I have. I'm sure there are a couple in this drawer that I have in like my everyday use stuff or a couple here on the desk. But I wanna focus on using these because right now I am stuck. I'm stuck on the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I mean, I only have this much left. I have used the heck out of this. I've used it every single day. Every single time I put my makeup on since I bought this, this is my go-to primer. I just think it's the best. It's just the best. I can't believe I love it so much. But that being said, look at all of these unused items I have in here. And then same with powder. I get stuck on the same one again right now. I'm stuck on this one from Hard Candy, but this is a favorite of mine already. The Chilling Wonder Sheer Envy Loose Powder. I mean, this one too, look how much is left. It's just down to here. I don't know if you could see it. Um, I will repurchase this, although it took me a year to find it in stock in store. Uh, it's totally worth it. I love it so much. But again, I have a bunch of them in here that just go unused. Um, so I want to focus on this drawer this month. I was thinking also to focus on my highlighter drawer, but I think I'm just going to focus on this. I kind of pull other things as I see fit. Um, but I am going to shop my stash for all the makeup on my face today, but the whole month's project is going to be this. So I do already have an eye primer because I don't think I have another eye primer in here, to be honest. So of course I'm using the Morphe eye primer, my favorite little baby. Let's throw that back in the drawer. Um, let's find a face primer. I just know none of these are going to compare to e.l.f. They're all, pretty much all the ones I have here are some sort of moisturizing or illuminating primer, which is fine, but right now the e.l.f. is just so smoothing and it makes everything look good. It just makes everything look good. But let's go for, oh my goodness, I know what powder I'm using today. I forgot I even bought that. Um, let's go for, what is one I haven't used? I mean, I haven't used a lot of these in a long time. Let's go for, oh, that's a spray powder. Let's do this one from Flower. This is the Supernova Celestial Priming Whip. I bought this uh, back in February when I was doing a Flower Beauty video, and I don't think I've used this since that video, to be honest. So I'm gonna pull out this. I already picked out my powder, and yeah, let's get on with it. So let's throw on the primer, and then I'll look for some eyeshadow. So this is a whipped primer, and it's gonna be very um, tempting. <laughs> to wanna just pump out like as if you're gonna put it on your hair and have this huge mousse thing. So I'm just gonna get a little bit like that. My hair's air drying, so of course it's flat as can be. I remember this being very smooth. Ooh, okay, I remember. It has like a nice glow to it. It looks like the Becca backlight priming filter. You know the one that had a little lavender tint to it? This feels super nice and super smooth. Ooh. Okay, I know this is gonna happen where I'm gonna like one a lot and wanna use it multiple days and that's totally fine, but I'm gonna try to use as many as I can from there, but this, I think I gotta keep this out a few more times. Okay, let's pick out some eyeshadow. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna look and I was already gonna look. Um. Let's do something from the palette's drawer over here. I never opened that one. I'm not gonna look. Something from the back. Is there someone in the back? Is there someone in the back? Oh, this one. This feels like Urban Decay? Oh, it is! This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. Do you guys remember this? I remember when this came out. I was obsessed with it. 
obsessed with this collection. I only bought one thing from the line and it was this. Uh, my boyfriend ended up getting me the blush palette for Christmas. Ugh, love it. But I haven't used this in a long time. Look at this packaging. So beautiful. So let's, let's have some fun with this. I remember when this collection came out, it was made for Gwen Stefani. Like it was her ideal makeup. So I remember it getting mixed reviews, not because of the quality, but because of the color selection. Like these colors are made for someone that loves neutrals. Like a lot of these look very similar. I remember the eyebrow stuff that came out was like a light taupe. It was made for someone with bleach blonde hair and super light skin. You know, it was made for her. So I remember the collection getting a lot of comments like that, but I still was obsessed with it. I was still obsessed. Um, let's just kind of dip in, dip into different colors here. I feel like it's going to be something really light, but I haven't used this in a very long time. So we'll see what happens, but I feel like it's going to be something really, really light, which is fine. I mean, this color has very light pigment to it. So you can see it's a little something. It looks more like a, a shade I'd use to like contour my eyelid, you know? But if any of you guys have this palette and still use it or love it, let me know. Because it still seems to work just fine. And I'm kind of glad I pulled it out today. But as far as new eyeshadow goes, I bought, um, oh, I bought this, the Rudolph collection. Not the whole collection, but the Rudolph palette from ColourPop. I just couldn't resist this. I, I mean, I think everybody likes this movie. I do wish they had a few more characters from the movie thrown into the collection, not just Rudolph and I think Clarice was part of it. But it's so cute. It feels really good in the hand. Nice color selection. I saw, I went to see it in person and I was like, oh yes, that's for me. I bought that and then of course I bought the Sultry palette from Anastasia, the mini Sultry. Freaking love this. I can't believe how good that is. I'm obsessed with it. I want to use it every day. And I think I have been using that every day since I got it. With the exception of yesterday, I used the Rudolph one and it was good. I liked it. But I'll continue using it, of course. That was the shade called Harajuku, that one I was using just now. But look how many of these shades look so similar. I don't know. This is definitely for the neutral lover that likes a pop sometimes of color. But there's nothing wrong with that. You know, these palettes have their place and I, probably a lot of people really like colors like this on a regular basis. And I love this eyeshadow brush from Morphe. Whoops. I did just buy another one. When I went to buy the palette, I bought another one of them. This is the V205. It's just such a great shape. It's soft, but it still has a little grit to it, you know? Like it picks up the shadow and blends it around nicely. Sometimes brushes are too soft and they don't move anything around. You could just feel it feeling nice on your face, you know? Well, that's going to do it for now. I think I'm going to grab one of these shimmers. Let's go with Steady. Ooh, super creamy and smooth. I mean, something super, super light, obviously, but pretty. I don't usually appreciate colors like this that are really, really light, barely there. I don't know what it is. They seem kind of eh to me, but I like this. This is nice. Something really nice, neutral, easy peasy. I'll just put on a lot of blush, a lot of mascara. Cool, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the drawer. I wanna continue using that this month. So I did a big foundation declutter recently and I'm left with what I feel is a really small selection, but it's only foundations I really like or that are great shade matches. Uh, but this was one I hadn't used in a while. It's the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. I have the shade 201. And I'm really enjoying this. I have found the sweet spot as far as coverage goes is two pumps right away. I find one pump, which is what I'm gonna do today. Uh, one pump is really nice light coverage, but nothing crazy. Uh, it is a very dewy finish, very skincare-like, but pretty. I, I've really, really, really been enjoying this a lot. And I'm glad I've rediscovered it because you know what? It had just been kind of sitting there. That primer has left my skin looking so smooth and tight. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the glow that it has. It looks tight. It doesn't feel that way. 
So there's one pump all blended in. You could see really natural looking. You could still see my skin through it. It's not completely covered, but I really like it. I love the way one pump of this looks. It's almost tinted moisturizer, but it has a little bit of something to it. Love it a lot. And then of course concealer. I'm using the same stuff as always. Oh, it's in my bag, BRB. Actually, no, let's just use this. The Colfi Main Match Concealer, of course, on my under eyes. My favorite, my baby. I keep forgetting to do a review on it. Maybe later today or tomorrow, I will. And I'm just gonna put a little on my face as well. Just on parts that tend to get a little bit red throughout the day. I always think it's so funny how we go out of our way to cover up redness on our cheeks and then we put the redness back on with blush, but in a nice way, you know? I. I know people always put on blush and they say it's like the perfect natural flush. And I feel like I've even described blushes like that before. But I never want to look like I'm naturally flushed. You know what I mean? I want to look like a cockatiel at all times. All right. And then for the eye area, I like to just blend with my finger. Kind of blend it all around. Get it nice and even around. Make the craziest face as possible. And then pick up any excess with the sponge. And then in here in the inner corner, trying not to cover up a lot of the eyeshadow, but I always end up doing it. You know, I'm really liking that primer. I feel like it has made a difference with the foundation and the way that it looks. And I feel like I could still see that slight lavender glow. That sounds like it would be weird, but it's it's nice, I really like it. Uh oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna get stuck on this one. I'll try to work my way through all the powders though, primers I might get stuck on. Okay, just gonna go with the eyeshadow brush again back in the inner part of the eye, just to kind of re-blend where I might have covered up uh, with concealer. Nice, okay, the powder I picked out. Look, I need something on my lips. A little Laneige lip sleeping mask. Actually, I should use one of these that I bought, the little gift set. I still haven't opened it. Sometimes I just buy stuff because I want to have it, you know, not because I want to open it right away and use it. I do that all the time with skincare. I don't know what that's about. Okay, powder. I pulled out the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy. I have a little mini here that I think I only use like one or two times and I put it back in the drawer. I don't know why. Um, I can tell I've used it, but I don't know why I put it away. So I'm just going to kind of get some on my brush, but I can't see if I'm getting anything. I guess I am. We'll see when I put it on. I know Emily Noel really likes this powder. She uses it under her eyes. I'm not a huge fan of putting powder under my eyes and with this concealer, you don't need to. I kind of like to use powder sometimes to take away an overly dewy face, but mostly to help my bronzer, blush, and highlighter blend nicely and not feel like it's stuck to my foundation. I feel like this, it's fine. It toned it down a little bit. It doesn't look matte or flat. I feel like I could still see the glow on my skin, mostly from the primer. Uh, I'm going to use this again tomorrow and see what I think because I, I, it's not bad, but it's not blowing my mind right now. Okay, bronzer. Let's see what I grab. First one. First one I touch. Ooh, this is Tom Ford. Knew it. Okay, this is the Tom Ford Bronzing Powder in the shade Terra. This is a, pro a product I've had for a very long time. A very long time. Uh, I like it, but I don't love it, you know? And I'm going to use uh, the Wet n Wild brush. I don't know what brush this is. I think it's the powder brush, but I also think it's the blush brush. But the ones that are sold in the store look so different because they're sold in a, pla in a plastic sleeve that like smashes the brush down. So I can't see what brush it is. And when I got this, it was in the Wet n Wild advent calendar and it wasn't in the sleeve, it was open. So the brush was already nice and poofy. I can't tell what one it is, but I really want to figure it out so I can uh, let you guys know because this is my new bronzer brush. I use it every single day. I've been using it every single day since I got it out of that calendar. I can't stop. It picks up the product perfectly. It blends it like a dream. It's soft, but I feel like they've changed 
the bristles a little bit from when they first came out. Look at my eyebrows. Do you remember when these brushes first came out, they felt like fishing line. They felt like plastic bristles. It just wasn't, it was soft, but not in a good way. Like they didn't work really well. I don't know if they changed the fa the fabric, the uh, material that the bristles are made out of, but this one has like some crimping on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little crimping on the bristles. So it adds a little more texture to the bristles. So it actually picks up the product now and blends it around. It's so good. I'll link the brush that I think it is in the description box in case you know or you want to check it out. But this is my new go-to brush. I mean, look at that. It picked up the bronzer that I normally don't even really love because it's way too light. It picked up the perfect amount, blended it like a dream. What a combo, right? Wet and Wild and Tom Ford, but I love it. All right, and I think I'm gonna use the same for blush as well. Let's see what I grab. Ooh, there's a lot in here. Let's just reach for, this feels like Ciate? Yep, I know my packaging people. So I try not to like stay in there too long because I'll be trying to pick it out. This is the blush in the shade Summer Love. Remember these? I don't even know if they still make these anymore. But look how beautiful. It's like a glowy blush that has a highlighter in it as well. We'll see if I end up putting on highlighter, but I love this brush. I love it so much. I love this TV. Any office fans out there? Otherwise you think I'm just rambling like a madman. Anyway, I can't tell if I'm getting a lot of color from this. There we go. Maybe I just hadn't built it up enough. I don't remember having to build this up too much, but it's also pretty old. I might add more afterwards because the eyes are so neutral. I feel like I need a lot of blush. But we'll stop there. Okay, highlighter, same deal. I'm just gonna open it, see what I grab. No, you know what I wanna use? The Anastasia one, the Glow Seeker Highlighter in the shade Sun Idol. This is their new one. It's good, it's good, it's very good. It's so lovely. It looks like it's going to be very, very golden and it does have a light goldness to it. What? It has a light goldenness to it, but it's very like a white gold. It's not super yellow. Oh, look. And it looks wet. It looks like your face is wet and it looks like that all day in any lighting in your ugly bathroom lighting at your work, your face is gonna be popping because you put this on. It's so nice. Mm, I love it, love it. I've been using this every day since I got it. Let's put on some freaking eyebrows already. Of course, Rimmel Brow Pencil, the It Cosmetics Brow Powder, and the NYX Brow Glue. I don't really have like a whole stash of brow stuff, so I don't have anything to shop my stash for. Just gonna use the same stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, eyebrows on and they look okay this time. Anyway, the blush, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking it's a little more highlighter than blush, but we'll see how it turns out after. Hello? Hey, sorry to bug you on your day off. Work stuff always, okay. Uh, where was I? The blush. I feel like I wanted more color on my cheeks, but we'll see how everything turns out. Um, let me do a little bit more on the lower lash line. I mean, it's going to be a little more, but it's also going to be very light. And I feel like I put on too much concealer under my eyes. It's looking a little heavy over here. I could see all of my lines over here filling up with concealer. And this never does that to me. This is a first, but I feel like Okay, I know the video looks bright, but it's dark in the room. It's just the way the light is coming in, it's making the video look bright, but I can't truly see what I'm doing because I don't have my lights on that I normally do when I'm putting on my makeup, and I think I put on way too much. But you know what, it's fine. It's just makeup, it's gonna wash off, right? Just gonna use those same two colors on the lower lash line. It's 
fine. It's fine. Nice, neutral, whatever. Setting spray. Setting spray. Where are you? Let's... I feel like this one's getting a little low. Let's do this. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is one of my favorites. It's really, really good. It's an aerosol can. Nice light mist. This is one that you, you really, truly can't overdo it. It's such a fine mist. Other than when the bottle's like almost empty, you'll start getting little droplets spitting out at you, but for the most part, you'll never get a big droplet in here. It's just so good. So, so good. Dries really nice and it definitely brings a glow back to your face if you happen to put on too much powder. Mascara. I'm going to use the Sky High, uh, Maybelline Sky High and the Lower Lashes and then the Grande Cosmetics Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil on the upper lashes. Maybe these lashes will camouflage my too much concealer application. And I forgot to ask what you got up to for Halloween, if anything. Um, I didn't do anything. We didn't go anywhere. Um, didn't hand out candy. Normally we hand out candy, but uh, this year we didn't. I just didn't feel like it, to be honest. I didn't feel like buying the candy. I didn't feel like sitting outside or opening the door all the time. Just didn't feel like it. And I had to go to work at 5 a.m. the next day, so I didn't really want to stay up that late. And, you know, it's fine to take a year off of giving out candy. But we watched a movie. Have any of you guys watched the movie called Talk To Me? It was so good. Oh my gosh. If you're a horror movie fan, that movie was great. I loved it so much. I thought about it the whole next day like, dang, what a good story. Like an original story, you know? So if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it, but this group of teenagers, they're all in high school, I think, and they have a hand. It's like an embalmed hand that had been cut off of a medium, and I don't know where it came from. One of them came into possession of it, but if you hold the hand and you say, talk to me, and you have a candle lit, you say, talk to me, and a, a spirit will, will talk to you, and you could see it. It will come inside of your body, and... Um, they get hooked on it like it's like it's a high or something and they keep doing it and doing it of course until something goes wrong and then that's where the story kicks in it is good it's creepy it's fun it's not too silly there are some parts that are like i literally had to look like this like ew why did they write that into the movie there are some parts like that that are a little like gratuitous but i think it wouldn't be a horror movie if they didn't do some gratuitous stuff, but it was good. It was good. I would say solid eight out of 10. It was awesome. If there's a trailer for it, I'll link it in the description box if you want to check it out. It was good, but heads up, it is scary. And I honestly thought I was gonna have nightmares all night because I went to bed the moment we finished the movie. The moment the credits are rolling, I got up and said, I'm going to bed now. And I was hoping so bad I wouldn't have a nightmare. This mascara is running low. It's so dry now, like I could barely get any out. But I'm gonna use this till I can't anymore. I really, really love it and I wanna repurchase it. Yeah, it's really dry. Oh, this poor thing. I probably has one use left. Doing a little Emily Noel. She always takes her hair down and fluffs it up for the video. But that is it. That's my little shop, my stash, you know? I like the way this came out. I like the way this came out. I thought it was gonna be a lot more blush focused, but I think I like where did I even put it? I like the subtlety from this, the Ciate one. Uh, not a lot of color payoff, but a little bit, like just enough to be like, hmm, a little bit of something. And I think it balances with the eyes really nicely. But yeah, that is it. That's my Shop My Stash for November. Let me know some products you were shopping your stash for this month. I would love to know. But I am going to focus on my powders and my primers this month. And I'm really excited about it. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.